Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And as you already know, my name is Mr. Frosh, and you are on the channel Frosh the Fun Guy. Okay, so very quickly, um, today I want to talk about the world most dangerous dog, like the most aggressive dog in the world, like the number one. Take a wild guess. Uh -huh. You can already think it already. It's the pit bull dog. Okay, a brief history of the pit bull, guys. Um, the pit bull actually came about from the cross between an old English bulldog and an old English terrier, and hence the name pit bull. So in the United States, the dog is actually called the pit bull. But then in other countries like the UK, it's, an, it's the abbreviation for American pit bull terrier. And the name pit bull was first used in the year 1927 yeah. Um, that was the first time the name Pitbull was used and the Pitbull is actually categorized under a heterogeneous group where you find the English Bulldog, the um, the American Pitbull Terrier, the English Terrier and what have you. So that is actually where this dog came up from and this, this cross came about, I mean the cross between the old um, Terrier, the old English Terrier and the old um, English Bulldog because of the fact that the breezers at the time were looking for the the aggressiveness of the dog because the dogs were originally bred or were bred initially for hunting and for the protection of hunters at the time and pit bulls were actually bred i mean the form the stance the appearance the look everything of the pit bull were actually brought together from these two dogs to bring up a unique breed which is the pit bull that would serve that purpose of protection of the hunters at the time and the pit bulls were so strong and fierce that they could face bears, they could face bulls, they could face what have you and that's why we have them around and you know they've actually you know metamorphosed into what we have now in our own century here as the pit bulls that we have and these dogs are still maintaining what they've always had and these dogs have those aggressiveness qualities in them like it's in it so you don't teach a pit bull to be aggressive and you don't teach a pit bull to lock jaw i'm sure most of us know what lock locking of jaw means and if you don't know i'm going to address that in, the, in another video so subscribe to this channel and keep up actually guys these dogs were actually bred to kill like that was what they were bred for that was what they were raised for they were bred to kill and um as at 2016, um, the statistics showed that pit bulls caused 71% of dog fatalities in the United States. And at the time, pit bulls were about 6% of the dog po population. So imagine they were more than 6%. What would have happened for a 6% population to have caused a fatality of like 61%? It's, it's crazy, guys. These dogs are not dogs to joke with. And according to the American Society, um, for prevention of cruelty against animals. They were able to let us know that these dogs were originally bred to protect hunters from bears and from bulls. So actually they were bred to attack. They were bred to, to, to hold on to the faces of bulls and bears. Oh my, pit bull not be small dog. dog of, see, anywhere where you see pit bull, they jack back. <laughs> Why are you running? The guy is not normal. And according to dog, dogsbite.org, it showed that um, in America, between 2004 and 2015, people caused over 302 deaths, yeah, and then beat over, or mauled over 305 people, according to dogsbite.org. So, these people are crazy, man. But, if you ask me a question, should I own a pit bull? Should I keep a pit bull? <laughs> Let me take a deep breath first. Original pit bull. I mean a pedigree. A pit bull that has been purely bred. Not a moth. Not one that you know just I'm talking about like a like a pure bred pit bull. For you to keep a pure bred pit bull, you need you need to train the pit bull. You need to socialize the dog. You need to train the dog. You need to show the dog love, man. You need to see your pit bull must not must not be mad. You need to, if possible, you can get professional trainers to actually help out with training your dog. 
your dog should have a balanced temperament and even at that pit bulls are very very dangerous for them to talk the charts man no be beans and to interest you to know that in some countries you actually need a license to own a pit bull so guys owning a pit bull is not beans it is not beans but if you ask me they are gentle giants so i love pit bulls no discrimination against, against pit bulls here and if you if you feel like you want to get a pit bull please go ahead and get a pit bull but you must be physically ready you must be emotionally ready to take care of the people you must be a pack leader man you must you must you must show that you are in control you must mark your territory and know that the dog is under you and we're going to be talking more about this kind of things on this channel if you are loving this kind of videos and you want to see more i want you to subscribe to this channel click on the notification bell and expect more videos and please comment on this video what do you think about people's and what do you, what dog do you think i should review next thank you very much for sticking around once again my name is Frush, the fun guy, and thanks for staying. Goodbye. See you on the next one. Oh yeah, wait, wait, before we go. Some of you might have had an experience with the people before. Oh yeah, comment down, comment down. Let me know the experiences you've had with people. And even if you've heard stories about, you know, the aggressiveness and the wickedness of people, please let us know in the comment section and let's share thoughts together. Peace.